In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use the BlackBerry Playbook as a tool for my business on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the things that I love about the Playbook is that it has a very small footprint. It fits in the side of my laptop bag and when I carry it around, it just looks like a small notepad. The three applications that I'm going to be showing you that I use the most are email, calendar, and address book. Other apps that I might be able to show you in this video are the browser and the Dropbox. So first things first, the email application. At the top, you will see that that is the status bar. and It shows me that there are two messages waiting. That is one way to open it. When you tap it, it will open the message application for you. This is the Playbook's native email application that came out after the 2.0 update. As you can see, it looks different than the original email that first came out. It has a lot more capabilities, has tighter integration with the contact and the calendar application. One of the features that I like about the new email app is that it supports threaded conversations. This email exchange took place yesterday and they are neatly grouped together. The Unified Mail application also supports Facebook. So you can see one of my emails here is actually a Facebook notification that showed up in my mailbox. When I click on one of the contacts that I have, it will link me to the contacts application. You have several options here on the side. The tabs will show you different things that you can show about this particular contact. The first screen shows the basic information about this contact and then some extended information including their Facebook uh, profile. This tab shows upcoming meetings with this contact and this one shows you the past meetings. We can also show you LinkedIn connections as well as who we've met in common. These were the places that we met before. Replying to an email is simple. Just click on an email, tap on the reply, and start typing away. I find that the keyboard on the playbook is very responsive. Swiping up from the bottom bezel shows you uh, the applications they have running. Currently, you only have one. I'm going to be showing you the calendar app. By default, it shows you the weekly view. But you can tap on that button there, that icon, and it shows you um, the entire month. You can see that the, some of the numbers are bolded and larger. It just means that you have more appointments or uh, you have more meetings on that day. Today's the 28th and it is highlighted. There are three tabs across the top here which shows you different views. The day shows you which hours are free. The agenda tab will show you your tasks or your meetings in the order that they take place and the people tab will show you who you, have, you are going to be meeting with today. To set up an appointment, I usually go to the agenda um, and then I tap on the hour that I would like to meet. Enter the subject. The location. and the attendees. You can just begin typing the first name of the attendee and the auto suggest will start to appear.
and it'll ask you if you would like to send the meeting invitation to the invitees. Calendar supports multiple calendars. I have three, but I only have two active. You can deactivate some of the calendars if you would like to single out just the one that you want to see. So if you have a team, you can add their calendars here. The browser application is usually opened when you click on an email that was sent to you that has a link. Here's an example. I received an email from this contact which contains a link to a YouTube video. The browser supports multiple tabs. Just slide down from the top bezel, tap on new tab, and you are presented with the thumbnail view. You can also switch to list view. I prefer the thumbnail view. It's just easier for me because I'm more visual. And we use Mantis BT, which is an open source application that we use to manage our projects. One of the features that I like about this browser is when you hit a drop down menu, it renders this special um, slider which allows you to scroll through a drop down menu easier. There are two ways to switch between applications. You can just slide across the bezel or swipe up from the bottom and select the app that you want to open. To reveal the, the status bar, you can slide diagonally from one of the top corners. A very useful tool that we use around here is Dropbox. There's an app that we can install called Bluebox, which gives us access to our Dropbox. In here, it logs me in automatically and I can select the folder that I want to access. In this exercise, I'm going to be choosing one of the JPEGs from one of our shared folders. It allows our team to access the same folder no matter where we're located. The playbook is a perfect companion to my Blackberry Bold. When I don't have access to Wi-Fi, I can just connect it to my Blackberry Bold's data plan. Let me just turn on the Bluetooth. It is on. And I'm going to demonstrate how we would connect. First I will disable the Wi-Fi and I will enable Bluetooth. And now we should be able to browse. One of the complaints that I've been hearing on YouTube is how hard it is to press that power button. I don't really even, even use that button. I just can use the battery icon and put it on standby that way and swipe across to wake it up. And even if I did want to use that, I don't understand what's so hard about pressing it. When you have the Bluetooth connection with your BlackBerry Bolt, you can also access the messages that you have in there. You will have two icons here. One for the messages and the other one for your BlackBerry uh, phone messages. This was the email app that I used to use before the 2.0 update. I found it useful because it had multiple um, selections that you can access if you wanted to delete multiple email addresses like this and then you would just hit delete
the native email app does not have that feature. This is probably the only feature that I miss, but more recently I've been using the native email app because I find it more useful. Overall I'm very satisfied with my playbook. It's very responsive, it's quite useful, it's a great substitute for a full-on laptop. The battery life lasts about three days and it's nice and compact. You can just carry it around like this. It looks like a small notepad. So that's it folks. Thank you for watching and please subscribe or post your comments. Goodbye.